Okay, we're gonna try it one more time. <laughs> If I can't find it, then I can't comment on po when people comment and stuff. So bear with, there's a live. Finally, okay, bear with me. Okay, we're gonna try it one more time. Sorry, have to shut that volume off. Okay, so this month, this is our free birthday card class. And every month I do on the, it's usually the second Monday of the month. This week is postponed a week. Um, time got away from me. So, this month, I, what I did, every month I designed four birthday cards, and if you wish to receive these card kits in the mail, they look like this. So, if you really want these four card kits with the project sheets for each one um, in the mail, then you, put, you need to go to the link that is on my Facebook page and order, place an order for $40 before tax and shipping, and then you'll get these card kits in the mail with the project sheet. If you don't have this bundle, you can use the kits for any other cards or you can purchase the bundle as part of your $40 order. Right now, this is one of the pairing partner stamp sets. So this is found in the annual catalog and it's just the stamp set, but you can bundle it for the month of September and get the dies to coordinate. Okay. So, um, all that information is on my blog today. And will be on my blog later today and is um and everything so and i'm gonna and i posted a, a link to where you can go and shop and per purchase stuff and then, like i said if your order is 40 dollars, then you get the four card kits for these four cards with envelopes for free with the project sheet and you also qualify for the <laughs> customer my customer giveaway which every order gets a thank you card for me. This is the thank you card for September. And then this month I'm giving away a pack of dimensionals for every $40 order, one per person. So you place a $40 order, you get a pack of dimensionals. And this thank you card is a thank you for choosing me to be your demonstrator. And you would also get the card kits with envelopes. Okay. Ignore my hideous nails. I go next weekend for this coming weekend to get my nails done. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start... Um, with this card, it's going to be our first one. So the card kits, when you get them, everything is already pre-cut for you and you'll have an envelope in here and you'll have the pro and then the project sheet comes with your kits. Um, that explains like what measurements are for each card. So if you wanted to make more than one, you could just cut it and make it. The designer sheet of paper that I use for these cards is the hostess and the mini catalog is called celebrate everything. So I'm going to push this stuff to the side and we're going to do our stamping first. Let me grab a little tiny grid just to have as a backing. This is for this grid paper is for the stamparatus, but I use it for everything. <laughs> so, so we're going to use the pig that has the birthday cake and the balloon. Okay. And we're just going to ink him up and we're just going to stamp on our rectangle. Okay. And then I'm going to take the It's Your Birthday and ink it up and just put it right there. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and close that because I'm really bad about putting my hand in it. And then I'm going to bring in some dimensionals and we're going to color it and I'm going to bring in my snips. So you'll see on my greeting, I cut it at an angle and then I use my scissors and cut it down a little bit more closer to the greeting. I wanted to give myself plenty of room to stamp, but I also wanted to make sure that I had a adequate uh, room to stamp and I knew I could just cut it, fussy cut it with my snips. So I'm using the light markers. This is the pool party and I have crumb cake, daffodil delight, smoky slate, old olive and polished pink and I just pulled the light ones of each one and I figured since my paper was dark um like bold colors that I would go with the light ones so I need the gray silky slate I'm gonna color his little feet okay and then I need the daffodil delight this is the slowest part of putting these cards together and that is 
just coloring. Okay? So, I like to color. It's relaxing to me. Um, so, creating is actually just relaxing to me. So, leave me a comment. Let me know that you're um, where you're watching from, even if you're watching the replay. Um, just leave a little comment and tell me you're watching the replay and where you're watching it from. I know I don't usually go live at 6 o'clock on a Monday, but I do. I go live on the usually the second, so it should have been last Monday, but I'm a week behind on everything. Even my email freebie is going out this week instead of last week. So, okay, so we're going to do is grab our seal and, sorry. So I'm going to put adhesive on my card front, just like that. Then I'm going to put adhesive on my designer series paper. And I want that to be somewhat centered in the middle. Okay. And then I'm going to bring in dimensionals. I didn't know my original, but I'm going to dimensional the one I'm doing tonight. Okay. Let me grab the mini dimensionals for the greeting. Sorry. Okay. Okay. So move those out of the way. Pull these backings off. Sorry if you hear the dog barking. Everybody went outside but mom and I'm doing the live. So he is by himself. He seems to be fine. He was laying down taking a nap when I come in here. But that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> I think I like it better popped up. But this is card one. And I chose to use the pig for every card this time. Um, just that way it would be a simple... Oh, um, that way it would be simple. I need to bring my trimmer in and cut this piece of white. Bear with me. I thought I had everything cut ahead of time. Okay. Okay, so that's fine. It didn't take that long. Okay, so this card is the one we're doing this right now. So we're going to stamp our pig. I tried to use all the different pigs. Um, sorry if I put my head in the camera. Sometimes I have to go close to line it up. Make sure that I'm getting it straight. Okay. So let's start with the flowers. It's so quiet in this hat in my house. My husband and son both went outside to do, to do stuff. Um, weed eating and mowing and all that fun dog stuff and everything too. And I'm just enjoying the quiet. So I'm going to do the dirt and crumb cake and light crumb cake. Just like that. And then I'm going to come in with my polished pink. All my pigs are the same color tonight. I didn't, like I said, I wanted to try to use the same supplies for all four cards. The same designer series paper, the same bundle. It just makes it easier if you you get more out of the the bundle this way. So I'm hoping to keep that going forward. So next month it'll be a different bundle or stamp set. And I will create four cards using it. And that way you're getting the more for your money. You're not having to buy a whole bunch of different ones. If you just bought this stamp set like and ordered it, then you could create four cards with it. Okay. 
I bought three of the perfect partners so far. I bought these pigs, which I love. I love animals, so that shouldn't be a surprise. And then I bought the um, apples from the uh, mini catalog that we I used. And then I also bought the Yeti because I just think he's adorable. So, and every Tuesday I do three quick and cute cards using a stamp set. And then the third Saturday of the month, this month it'll be this coming Saturday, um, I do, if you're on my email list, you get another one that is three cards. We're using a stamp set or a bundle. Okay. So this is our third card. This one uses our guy on the bike, our little piggy. Riding a bike that says happy birthday. Oh, sorry. So my plan is in the next month or so to uh, figure out an organization system to where I can pick out I would like to be able to organize it to where I'm picking out my cards for my birthday, my birthday cards for the people for that month, putting them with the envelopes, putting a little post-it note on there on when their birthday is, like go ahead and address the envelope and everything. And then just get a head start on 2023. Um, and that way it's already done and all I have to do is pull them in and, um, and get started like it'll make my job of mailing out birthday cards which I love to do don't get me wrong I love sending out birthday cards it's my thing um, but I would like to get um, to where I'm doing more if that makes any sense I'd like to get them to where they're out going out regularly and I think if I just pre did like create it a organizational system where I do the whole at least six months to a year at a time then that would free up and maybe I could get better about sending other cards too really bad about sending like a just a thinking of you card or a hello card I make them but I'm not very good about sending them so I'm trying to get better and so like I said my whole thing is thinking organization first organize um, I want to find some kind of holder, maybe that's divided. I know I have a paint, uh, a couple things I could use, but I'd like to divide it by month and then make a divider and have everybody whose birthday is that month on a divider and then put the envelopes and the cards that I want to send to each person in that section. So... Let me know, leave me a comment if that is something you'd like to see me sh share with you, um, how I do it and what I end up using and everything. And I will record a video of me organizing it and everything. Okay. Like I said, it probably won't be for a month or so. I have to, we find out this week when my husband has to have his surgery, um, they're going to go in and take out his pacemaker and put another pacemaker in. So that's card three. So we find out this week. This is my favorite. I love this card. Um, I seen one like it online and I just had to make it. So, anyway, um, so let's fold our card base. There is some, let's go ahead and do the stamping first. And then um, we'll come back and put the card together, everything together. Okay. So there's, you'll see there's two pieces of basic white here, and that's because I stamped the pig with the balloon, and then I cut it out with my dies. And the reason I did that is so that I could line it up better. So I'm just going to stamp that, and then I'll color it. And then we're going to stamp the It's Your Birthday. On here. Just like that. Okay. And then let's go ahead and collar this. 
And this one I colored my balloon pink even. I love to make birthday cards. And these ones are great. Uh, we have a couple kid birth. We have a lot of birthdays in October. My nieces have each one. My two of my nieces that live in South Carolina each have nine. One has nine and one has ten kids. And so we have a lot of birthdays all the time. But we have um, a lot of birthdays in October. My niece in Jackson has a set of twins. And their birthdays are at the end of October. So we have quite a few October birthdays. So I want to, I'm like, these pig cards will be perfect to send to some of the kids. So... But yeah, I'm gonna, as soon as I'm done coloring this, we'll pull in our big shot and we'll get this cut out so we can start layering together our card. Okay. Make sure if you're not signed already signed up, sign up for my email before for Saturday because the email freebie will be going out Saturday to all my email subscribers. Mm -hmm that shows, um, and it'll be a quick and cute set of cards, three cards with, um, with the uh, PDF and everything, the project sheet, letting you know, if, um, let me grab a little post-it. Okay. So I hope you can see this. I'm lining it up the way I want it. And then I'm just going to stick my post-it note over it to hold it in place. So then I, I don't have to, it won't move on me. Oh, sorry that I bumped the camera. Okay. So here's our little pig all cut out. Pretty good. Okay. So what we're going to do, let's start our layering. Here's our card base and we're going to go. Let me bring in the original so you can see it. We're gonna go polished pink card base. I'm just layering the pieces up. Oh. Okay. Okay, so we're just gonna line this up. I'm going to set this to the side and bring in just my piece and all my pieces. Okay. So I'm going to start with my grass. And I, I did cut this a little bit long and I just trim it off. It's, it works better. And then what I'm going to do is put adhesive on I should pull out my silicone mat since I'm using my seal as adhesive. Um, I'm just going to line this up with the bottom. It'll cover a little bit, but I'm okay with that. And this one will lay flat. I'm not going to pop it up. Okay, so there is how that goes. I guess I cut an extra wagon on that one. And then I cut two of these little banners. Ugh. Okay, so we're just going to line our banners up and have them they'll overlap a little bit. And then next up, I'm going to add this to the front of the card. Hi, Iona. Thanks for joining me. Okay, so next up, I'm just going to cut the edge off of the banner. And I'm just going to pop it on here like so, just like that. I guess I popped it up on the original and not this one, but that's okay. So that's it. That is all four of our quick and cute cards for tonight. These are our birthday cards. So if you want, yeah, I had to put mine on the charger before I could come on here and record. 
So anybody who wants to receive these card kits can get them by placing a $40 order in my online store using the host code. And I will send you the Ford kits with envelopes and the project sheet. Okay, so I'm glad everybody. I'm glad you joined me. Thank you for joining me and uh, to watch the birth of me make the September birthday cards. Thank you, Iana. I love them. They turned out really good. Thank you for joining me.